Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my June favorites. I can't even believe I'm saying those words because it's uh, it's almost July. Um, my birthday's in July, so I, I freak out a little bit because I just feel like I'm getting older. Um, but it's okay. Um, it's just super, super hot outside right now. It's like 80 degrees. Sorry if you hear the fan. It's just... It's just too hot in here. Okay, so I have this Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. These have been all over YouTube lately because this is a pretty new product. Um, I have it in the shade Charm, which is a really nice peachy nude color. I'm wearing it on my lips today. Um, let me just give you a quick swatch of it on my hand here. So if you're um, a fan of the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tints, which I am, um, these are really, really similar. They even have the same kind of minty smell to them. It's pretty much the same minty smell. It's kind of like pepperminty um, and they go on just just as nicely but I'd say these kind of more stain your lips. The Lip Surgeon's lip tints are a lot creamier um, and it's also like a retractable kind of like a jumbo pencil form and that that's really convenient so you don't have to sharpen it. The only downside is that it's not going to maintain this kind of pointed end. It's going to get um, like a lot more rounded like my Tarte ones um, but that's okay I mean if you are a fan of the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tints this is a great alternative because it's a lot cheaper. The lasting power on these are pretty good um, the color itself lasts a pretty long time the only thing that kind of wears off over time is the sheen it's this kind of like a little bit of a glossy sheen um, but it's just really easy to reapply I don't need a mirror I'm, I'm looking at the viewfinder but you don't need a mirror which I really like and they just feel really good on your lips so I highly highly recommend these alright so next I've been really liking this Victoria's Secret primer it's the lasting FX eyeshadow primer um, there's no tint to it there's no shimmer to it it's just a flat um, matte um, primer which just looks like that it goes on clear. Um, I really like this because um, not only is it only $12, which compared to the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is like around $20 for a tube, this is a great price tag. And also, um, when I want to get just like a matte eyeshadow look, I don't really like to slap on like a shimmery eye base or an eye primer, so I reach for this. It's kind of got this like really silky texture to it. It's almost like if you guys tried... Um, like a face primer that feels like kind of silicone-y. Um, it's really, really smooth. feels just like that, and it's just really silky. It goes on your eyes really effortlessly. And yeah, I just really like... Um, I also really like the packaging because it has the separate um, doe foot applicator, and you just kind of put it on your eye, and then I blend it in with my fingers. And it doesn't make my eyes crease, but I don't even really have a crease, but... Um, my eyeshadows last all day. So um, this summer I've been really into kind of going out of my comfort zone as far as nail polishes go because I've been trying like bluish nail polishes, greenish nail polishes. Um, I don't normally like those because they just kind of make my fingers look really weird. Uh, but I've been really liking this one by Essie. Obviously I love Essie. Um, it's called Navigate Her. And it's this really pretty light pastel green color. And it's just perfect for spring and summer. And yeah, I've just been really loving this. Alright, so next, um, I got this quite a while ago, but I don't think that it was, I used them enough to put them in my last favorites. But they are my Sigma Make Me Cool kit, the, the brush set. It comes in this um, container like this. You just pop on the lid and then you can travel with this. I just love this for travel. This container is awesome because you can just um, park it right on the counter and just use this as a um, makeup brush holder while you're getting ready. So this is the 12 brush kit. I just did a video on my makeup brush collection. So I go over all of these, which ones I like um, more than the others. And yeah, I'll link that video down below if you'd like to see that. But I've just been really loving this kit. Um, I think it was around... I want to say a little over a hundred dollars. Um, I got, I had a ten dollar off coupon. You can find that easily online if you just kind of Google Sigma coupon. Um, but yeah, I just been really liking this. Just really great for travel, and I think the quality is really comparable to a lot of higher end brushes like the Mac brushes. So I'm the first person to admit that I am a highlighter freak. I have. I have too many. I have more than one person should ever need, but I was just been fiending to get this for a really long time, so I just kind of bit the bullet and I got it. It's Max Soft and Gentle. I just thought this was going to be beautiful during the summertime because it's super just glowy and just so pretty. Um, if you can see that sheen on it, it's amazing. 
Um, I definitely don't regret getting so, it. So yeah, it's a powder product, obviously. Um, it's just so pretty. It's got this pinkish hue to it, which I really like. I really norm ow. Oh. Funny bowl. I normally go towards like pinkish highlighters because I think that it goes a lot better with my skin tone. Um, so this is just perfect for me and it's just super shimmery but not in the way where it's like really obnoxious. It's just like the perfect amount of glow and I thought it was just going to be perfect for summer um, when you just want that really nice healthy glow to your face. I have it on today but I have terrible lighting so you can't really see it. But um, trust me, it's amazing. It's definitely worth it. And I just am obsessed with it. Next, I actually have a foundation favorite, which um, is kind of odd because I'm not a huge fan of foundation. But um, I've been really, really liking this one foundation. I thought it would be a great summer foundation because it's just convenient packaging and the finish of it is just really, really nice. It's the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse um, Foundation. It's a cream product, so it's kind of, it comes in this kind of flatter pod kind of thing. Um, twist it off and there is the product. It just comes in this flat container like that and the top has a, if I can open it, this little sponge guy that it comes with. I've been, the way I've been applying this, I just take my e.l.f. powder brush. This is just super easy and super convenient and it fits really perfectly in here. Um, I just kind of tap it in the product, stipple it on first, and then just kind of buff it into my skin. I'm wearing it today. It just feels really good on your skin, especially during the summertime. I also really like this because I think that it is a really good color match for me. Um, I'm in the shade er, Natural Beige. So easy, so fast. Um, I'm not a foundation wearer, but this product has just made me just reconsider that because it just makes your skin look really good and flawless, and it's 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 light, it's not heavy whatsoever, and it just provides a really nice matte look to your face. But next, I have two kind of like oldie but goodie products. Um, the first of which is this daily face wash by Clearasil. I believe they changed their packaging. Um, I just had this one because they had it as a backup from a while ago and I forgot that I had it but I just started using it again this month and I absolutely love this and it, it does have salicylic acid acid in it so it is a ma it has some acne medication in it but it's just the smell is really pleasant um, it's just a really clean smell and um, I really enjoy it you just kind of take a little dollop of it in your hands and um, use a little bit of water to get this really foamy texture it's foamy product and I just work it into my skin. It just makes my skin feel really clean and fresh and um, I used to use this religiously back in high school like all the time so it, it kept my skin pretty clear and it's been keeping my skin pretty um, clear right now um, even in my 20s so I really like this product. I'm not sure if the newer one in the kind of like metallic packaging it's still called the daily face wash but I don't know if it's the same or if they reformulated it. I really hope not because I love this product. Alright so next another oldie but goodie is um, a product from Bath & Body Works. Actually, it's a scent from Bath & Body Works, and it's Sweet Pea. I absolutely love the smell of this. It's so nostalgic to me. Um, I used to use this so much in college back in the day. Um, it's just a really nice, light, uh, summery scent. It's kind of like fruity, floral, so I just really like this. This is the um, body cream, and I just have the body splash, which I, I use every day. It's just really nice and light, so... You should definitely take a whiff of this and see if you like it. Lastly, if you guys haven't seen my mint green haul video, I'll link it down below. But I'm still obsessed with mint. I love everything mint. Um, my boyfriend kind of makes fun of me because whenever we go shopping, he just notices that I just gravitate towards anything mint. And he just laughs at me, but it's true. I'm obsessed with mint. Um, I just thought I would include these mint finds in this video because I don't know where else I would stick them. And I just thought I'd show you guys. So first, I have this watch that I got from Target. It's plastic um, and the, what is it, what are these called? The links, I guess. The strap is got kind of this like a little bit of like a rubbery texture to it, but it's not rubber whatsoever. I think it's just kind of got this like overspray of this. I was on the hunt for this in the stores and I none of the stores I went to ever had it. So I don't know why I didn't think to do this um, before, but I checked online and they have it. They, ha they conveniently have it, which was really surprised because I couldn't find it at all in stores. Um, it's super cheap. It was around, it was $12.99 in, in the store. I mean, sorry, sorry, in stores and online, it's pretty good quality for it being $13. I mean, it is plastic, but um, 
I mean, I just really like it for the color and to tell time. So then I have a um, makeup product actually. It, it's this eyeshadow by The Body Shop. I haven't heard anybody talk about makeup from The Body Shop, but the eyeshadows to me are just really, really great. Um, it's I, I think it's comparable to the texture of like the Wet n Wild shadows, except that it's a lot more buttery and soft. Um, so it's this color right here. It just looks like that. I don't know if you can see the true color. It doesn't have a name to it. It just says number 38. And this was $9. I have it on my eyes today. Let me just zoom in so maybe you can get a better look at it. So yeah, it just really brightens up your eyes. It gives it a really nice pop of color so it's not like a flat kind of like light cream color like I usually use. I have this bracelet that my mom actually got and she um, gave it to me and she knows how obsessed I am with this color. It's by BCBG and I think she got it at TJ Maxx I want to say. Um, it says that it's originally like 20, like the retail value is $28 but it was only $12.99 and it's this beautiful mint green color. It's got this kind of belt buckle look to it so I just think it's really classy um, and it's just really pretty. It just adds a really nice look to your wrist so um, yeah and I was really surprised at how affordable it was considering that it's BCBG. I don't know if other TJ Maxx will have this but I would keep an eye out look eye out for it maybe. Alright so that concludes my favorites from this month of March. March? Oh my god concludes my favorites from this month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon.